Hi, and welcome. I hope you've enjoyed the state presentations of the Steel Excellence Awards program for 2020. These awards have provided the platform for us all to witness our steel designers supply chains in action, creating beautiful architecture and robust infrastructure we'll all enjoy in our daily lives. The project teams are to be commended on the high level of collaboration which ensures economical design and the buildability of structures to be delivered safely. The high quality of entries challenged the state judging panels. I'd like to thank all who entered their outstanding projects. I'm delighted to congratulate the winners of each of the state awards program and invite you to join me in the presentation of the national honours of the Steel Excellence Awards for 2020. Thanks, Mark. Welcome to the Australian Steel Institute's National Steel Excellence Awards presentation. Each of the state winning projects have now competed for the national honours and I am excited to present the judges' decisions. It's appropriate that I pay tribute to the eminent national judging panel who have kindly provided their experience and expertise to arrive at the winning projects for 2020. Professor Kurosh Kavani. Alison Mirams, Chris Patterson, Maria Mavrikos, Dr. Brandon Geen. The awards program has been kindly supported by our many sponsors in each state. I thank you all for your support. Now let's view a message from one of our major sponsors, Bluescope. For me, the Australian landscape is defined by its sense of space. And in that space, that vastness, there's a real feeling of freedom. So I'm looking for those places where I'm completely surrounded by the landscape. I'm inside of something. When that happens, it's, it's an incredibly powerful feeling. When I'm photographing a landscape, I'm basically organising space with a camera, responding to the textures. So it's much the same when I'm working with architecture. I'm responding to how the form sits within its environment. that to create something that works. That's the journey. Thanks again Bluescope for your generous support of this awards program. Now let's proceed to our first category. Buildings, large projects. The qualifying state winners for the buildings, large projects category are 271 Spring Street. This building sets a benchmark of balancing commercial development need with heritage preservation in an area constrained by complex existing infrastructure. Extremely slender floor plates were designed allowing for penetrations through the composite steel beams in each ceiling, realising an additional floor. The off-site fabrication of steelwork, particularly complex members and connections for raking elements, created significant time savings resulting in floor cycles of two to four days. The result is a modern 16-storey boutique commercial office space. Western Australian Museum. The dramatic new design links contemporary architecture with the historic and heritage listed buildings, creating a visual landmark for the state. The gallery floors are supported on fabricated steel trusses located within walls and vary in depth between 7 and 15 metres. The trusses span up to 45 metres with a 17 metre cantilever over the existing buildings. The 3D model was federated with other disciplines to enable early identification of clashes and requirements for structural penetrations. The result is stunning. 
Bankwest Stadium. The world-class 30,000-seat stadium in Parramatta is a beautiful synthesis of engineering and design. The seamless, innovative geometry and configurations of the 28,000 square metre roof structure was designed to be disassembled and reused in the future if desired and were fundamental to creating the main architectural showpiece. The design for manufacturer approach enabled 4,500 tonnes of steel to be fabricated off-site, eliminating over 2,000 connection plates. The stadium for the people was sourced from Western Sydney, creating a proud legacy within the community. Osborne Naval Shipyard This facility is for the nation's $35 billion hunter-class future frigate program and forms part of Australia's long-term defence strategy in creating a premier naval industry hub for defence, shipbuilding and ship sustainment projects. The facility has a 50-year design life and contains more than 25,000 tonnes of steel. The largest of the structures is the B-22 Outfitting Hall which is designed to house two ships side by side and measures 190 metres long by 90 metres wide and 50 metres high. Qantas Founders Museum, Air Park Roof Given the harsh environment of Western Queensland, it was decided to provide coverage to preserve the vintage aircraft. The Air Park Roof covers an area of 8,000 square metres, half as big as the Sydney Cricket Ground and used steel screw piles for foundations. The 400 tonnes of fabricated steelworks were erected around and directly over the existing Boeing 747 and 707. This impressive air park roof is 26 metres high, 90 metres wide with a truss span of up to 78 metres. The national winner for buildings large projects is Bankwest Stadium. The judging panel declared Bankwest Stadium as a standout winner in the large project category. The design included 4,500 tonnes of Australian steel with almost all steel sourced and fabricated within 10 kilometres of the stadium in Western Sydney. The roof, which provides cover for every spectator, was designed to be disassembled and reused in the future. The use of custom steel sections optimised the design and eliminated over 2,000 connection plates and essentially all welding within the roof and grandstand structure. The steel was sized with transportation in mind, with all steel capable of being transported on a standard 12.5 metre truck, reducing disruption to local residents. This is the world's first stadium to announce leadership in energy and environmental design V4 Gold Rating. Congratulations Bankwest Stadium. I would like to acknowledge the support of our other major sponsor, Australian Super. Last year, over 400,000 people joined Australia's largest super fund. Why? To be with a top performer. They've always worked hard to get me great returns. Well, for the low fees, of course. Honestly, because not all funds are the same. It's Australian, it's super, and it's yours when you join today. The next category is Building Small Projects The qualifying state winners are Bathurst Railway Museum 
The museum complex uses narrative architecture to complement the Heritage Railway Institute with the industrial appearance of the exhibition centre and children's learning space. The awning sheltering the platform and the Heritage Red Rattler carriage were designed with a minimalistic approach, resemblant of Industrial Revolution railway structures, where steel lattice and arches were a method employed to achieve lightweight, elegant and extremely efficient structures. Steel was the only logical material choice to achieve the desired aesthetic to comply with the architect's intent. Kalbarri National Park Skywalk Amenities the infrastructure consists of toilet amenities, shade structures, a kiosk and interpretive artworks. A critical aspect was for the project to look like it should be there and harmonise with the natural landscape with minimal ongoing maintenance. Custom formed ribbed roofs and wall sheetings wrapped the buildings, providing dramatic forms which change with the light of the day. Structural elevations, box beams, T-beams and posts were designed in weathering steel and offcuts were then utilised in the creation of the artworks. Ambrose Treacy College, Francis Xavier Centre. Situated on a leafy ridgeline, the new structure consists of a full-size basketball court, sports store and change rooms. The building has a simple rectilinear form. A concrete colonnade surrounds the court with branching steel members, supporting a simple composite roof. Instead of a typical portal frame, the team developed an expressive and lightweight steel structure which redistributes the same mass of steel into an equally efficient but elegant framework. The 2020 national winner for building small projects is... Kalbarri National Park Skywalk Amenities The consensus of the national judging team was, the structure is well considered and appropriate to the site. The use of weathering steel and its detailing gives a sense of permanence and allows the built form to blend in with the natural environment. The use of indigenous artwork in the steel and the use of steel in all different architectural forms is inspiring. The remote location of the project added complexity to the build, with extreme wind loading equivalent to region D cyclonic and no welding on site due to the bushfire zone restrictions. Congratulations, Kalbarri National Park Skywalk Amenities. Our next category is... Steel clad structures. The qualifying state winners for the steel clad structures category are... Yagen Square. Set across one hectare, this landmark piece of cultural and civic infrastructure has reinvigorated Perth CBD. The design team devised a facade which communicates the cultural story through the use of locally fabricated court and steel cladding. The incredibly complex non-typical facade included angular, uncommon shapes and integrated materials to represent a rock outcrop which resulted in a complex arrangement of substructure which could only be achieved efficiently with the use of structural steel. Horizon Jalalan Rail Maintenance Facility This 7700 square metre facility, located in the Mackay region and valued at $21.5 million, has been constructed for rail wagon maintenance. The primary building structure is steel portal framed, with full height cladding around the perimeter. The entire structure contains around 250 tonnes of Australian structural steel sections, 100 tonnes of cold rolled purlins and girts, plus 55 tonnes of roof and wall sheeting. La Trobe Valley Gov Hub Featuring the world's largest light gauge steel clad facade modules, 
The $30 million project is a three-storey regional employment hub. This steel-clad building featured innovative design elements of 18 light gauge steel modules, craned into position and hooked onto the building. Each fully clad module is 8 metres wide by 14.5 metres high and weighs approximately 6.5 tonnes, which is extraordinarily light for the massive size. Pembroke Middle School The 6,500 square metre multi-storey education building has been designed as a vertical learning village with three discrete neighbourhoods and a naturally lit and ventilated central atrium. The steel construction and cladding were chosen for both aesthetic and practical purposes. The style and colour of the steel is reminiscent of the utilitarian industrial building typologies. The cladding has a matte finish which provides an element of softness and depth of colour to what would otherwise be a hard-edged building facade. Steel clad structures 2020 national winner is Yagen Square The judges were impressed with how the designers incorporated indigenous imagery to communicate a cultural story in the steel structure and steel facade. The designers have enhanced construction safety through extensive use of prefabricated steel elements. The underlying foundation of true partnerships developed with the local industry is also noticeable. Congratulations, Yagen Square! Bisloy Steel has kindly sponsored the engineering category of the entire awards program. Please join me in viewing a brief message. We move it with pride. We build it with you in mind. We protect what's most valuable. And we shield those who defend us. It's our business. Australian-made steel for over 40 years. Isaloy. Our next category is... Engineering Projects. The qualifying state winners for the Engineering Projects category are... Brisbane International Cruise Terminal. BIM modelling brought multiple coordination benefits to this project, from engineering design to fabrication and construction. Safe working method statements were developed by riggers using the 3D model to ensure cranes and access equipment were positioned correctly. The lightweight steel truss modular walkway was developed to enable 12 spans to be fully built on the ground. Once complete, they were lifted into position with mobile cranes reducing working at height by more than 90% than the original concrete floor design. Karam Station Level Crossing Removal Project The new platform design features glass weather protection pods and shelter canopies positioned on the winding steel noodle-shaped CHS supports. The architects seemingly took their design inspiration from the nearby Eel Race Road an off-site trial assembly of the noodle and roof canopy segments ensured the structure would fit accurately when installed. On site, the platform canopy roofs were pre-assembled including all services, speeding up the construction time frame. Lachlan's Line Pedestrian Bridge this unique project facilitates safe pedestrian and cycle access to and from Northride Metro Station, 
The bridge weighs 335 tons in total and has an overall length of 170 meters. It boasts a maximum unsupported span of 70 meters and consists of over 3,500 individual components, requiring 14 kilometers of welding. The sinuous and spiraling electric blue structure delivers a unique design and a memorable structure which meets the brief in both function and outstanding elegance. Memorial Drive Tennis Centre Redevelopment The stunning new steel roof has created an all-weather tennis facility which meets international standards and has put Adelaide back on the global map. The primary objectives of the project were for the roof to clear span the grandstands, provide unimpeded viewing for spectators and deliver an elegant, cost-effective structure. These factors ultimately drove the use of the steel trusses which minimised the quantity of material used. The roof was also redesigned to suit the availability of steel members, which could be locally sourced, adding further economic benefit. Henderson Expansion Facility At 18 storeys, the purpose-built ship and module repair and maintenance hall is the largest undercover facility in Australia. It boasts significant crane capacity of 400 tonnes at a height of 38 metres and 20 tonnes at a height of 70 metres. The main hall is 206 metres long and 70 metres high. The door clearance in this centre bay is 42 metres wide and exceeds 60 metres in height. Steel members were barcoded during fabrication to allow for ultimate tracking of all elements. The Engineering Projects 2020 National Winner is... Lachlan's Line Pedestrian Bridge The National Judging Panel recognised the combination of the design and construction teams working together, which has created a fantastic outcome for the community, an elegant structure and a striking landmark. The 70 metre clear span required new rolling techniques to create the helix truss. The entire bridge was trial assembled, deconstructed and then welded in a large fabrication shed adjacent to the site. To transport the bridge sections, the fabricator manufactured a custom designed cradle, safely delivering the sections to site to complete the bridge construction. Our congratulations to Lachlan's Line Pedestrian Bridge. Well done. That concludes the ASI Steel Excellence Awards program for 2020. Each of the state and national presentations will now reside on the ASI website for you to revisit and enjoy. We thank all the contributing teams that have designed, supplied, fabricated and built innovative projects for our communities, utilising steel as the material of choice. You can also view features of the winning projects in our next quarterly edition of our Steel Australia magazine. I invite you to contact the Australian Steel Institute if you require any information relating to engaging the Australian steel supply chain with your future projects. We certainly look forward to your next creations in steel. Thanks for joining us.